work only four days a week. Workers in most developed nations work around 40 hours or more a week, but support for a four-day work week has gained traction in a number of countries, and a number of U.S. companies have experimented with it. There's evidence that the modern economy is overtaxing workers, and that workers can actually get more done in less time if they feel less stressed, more rested, and generally happier. Four-day work weeks can vary between companies. Some firms limit workers to 32 hours a week without cutting their pay, while others have employees do four 10-hour days. And in some of our West Coast shacks, we've started testing a four-day work week. And for a team member who is working in the restaurant, that's significant. That's a major radical change in their lifestyle. So this is absolutely something we hope will lead to a better retention rate over time. That's what we're studying. That's what we're measuring to see if it actually does. Do longer working hours lead to greater productivity? In the UK, we have a bit of a puzzle when it comes to our productivity. Workers in Germany, for example, could actually stop working on a Thursday and yet still produce more than we do. So therefore, greater and longer working hours doesn't necessarily mean that we're more productive, especially when it negatively impacts our health and our ability to do our job. Yes, there's a downside. If there are people who are already overworked for those five days and you say, well, take that five-day productivity and just sort of make you do it in four days, that's going to be even more stressful. And then there's a lot of companies that just can't do this. If you're an executive recruiting company, yeah. for example, yeah. and you constantly have to take meetings with outside people, and suddenly you say, oh, I don't take meetings on Mondays, I don't take meetings on Fridays, well, that's really frustrating to the very people you're trying to recruit. So it's not as though every single company is equally receptive to this idea. What about childcare, for example? Uh, how have people dealt with the fact that, you know, hey, they, they, they may have a four-day work week, but the rest of the world does not? Well, yeah, but we, we actually say to our working mothers, hey, if you want to work five days a week but compressed hours so you can drop the kids off or pick them up, and in fact, to our working dads, we're perfectly happy with that too. So what this is about is actually saying to the employee, how do you want to work? What's the best way for you to work? We're not good at things that change. If we had worked seven day week, uh, seven work days now, seven day of a work week now, and we propose things like weekends and uh, 12 year olds can't work in your factories, mm -hmm. people now would lose their minds because yeah. we're not good at things that are different. We're like, we've never done that before. A lot of people are afraid to take the risk to change something. I think a lot of people have been used to working a certain way for their whole life and if we're only on the planet for a short term, it doesn't have to be like the olden days. You know, there is another way to do it and this is proof that it does work. Well, a few companies in the US are trying out a four-day work week. Any broad push is unlikely anytime soon. I'm Kayla Jardine. That's a look at the 360.